So we talk about buying under value and building instant liquidity a lot on this channel. Knowing a suburb inside out will certainly help with this because when a new deal comes onto the market, you should know straight away what sort of price it would sell for. And when the asking is much lower, you can capitalize on that opportunity and you'll build instant liquidity by simply buying that property. But how does one get to know a suburb very well? What's going on everyone? It's Blandon here from Mortgage HQ. There are certainly lots of ways to get to know a suburb well. And one way is through data. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through a tool that's gonna help you understand a suburb really well, what data you should be looking for and how you can use this data to leverage your time. So the tool that I'm gonna show you today is called Relab. It's very much like homes.co.nz, but this is a paid version. So it is $350 a year, or if you're looking for property right now, it's basically a dollar a day. Now, homes.co.nz would actually do majority of what I'm going to show you, but Relab has just got a few more features for the Auckland market that are really good. So first thing is to establish some criteria when you're looking for property. And for this exercise, I'm going to limit my price range to 1.1 million to 1.3 million. And I want to be close to the motorway. So that's why I have chosen the suburb Mangri Bridge. Now, of course, I'm just demonstrating it through one suburb. Once you know how to do this, you want to do it for several suburbs with those same price range. Now, another criteria that I want is to have freehold title because that's going to give me the most long-term value. And I want a piece of land that is relatively flat. So if I wanted to get rid of the house and build more houses on it later, I could do it a lot easier opposed to getting a piece of land that is on a slopey site. So then what I'm going to do is after I know this particular area that I want to sort of look into, I go to Relab and there is a new CMA feature that they have. And what I need to do is search for a house that is in the area that I'm looking in. So I've already pre-saved a address here, Tinch Church Road in Mangri Bridge. And this is instantly going to show me all of the past sales recently. And they will be quite recent as well. So you can see they are sold in the last few months. Now, the one thing I like about Relab opposed to Homes is that it shows most of the prices of the recent sales. Whereas on Homes, you might get a to be confirmed and you have to wait for them to update the data. So Relab is relatively quick with that data. So what I want to do here is first of all, establish my price range because I'm looking in the 1.1 to 1.3. So I'm going to drag this price range tab here, which is very similar on the homes tool. And I'm not going to limit it to 1.3. I'm going to look at 1.4 million as well. So I'm going to click apply and you can see that there are not many houses in this particular radius. So I'm going to expand my radius by another kilometer and I'm going to click apply. And now I can see a lot more sales in that particular area. So from the 11 records, we are going to try get rid of some of these figures because I'm only going to look at freehold titles. So this one is a freehold title. I'm going to add it to my save list and I'm going to add this one to my save list, 586 square meter freehold land. This one here is a unit title. So we're going to skip past that 635 square meter. We're going to add it to our list. This one, 550, we're going to add it to our list. Hasty Avenue, 440, still a decent sized land. So I'm going to add it to my list. This one here, Pai Titi Parade is a little bit small on 182. So I'm going to go past it. McKenzie, I'm going to add that to my list. And this one is 234 so we're going to skip past it 675 is all good we're going to add it and then lastly we've got this cross lease one we're going to get rid of it now once i have the shortlist i'm going to look for any anomalies anomalies that are awfully cheap because those are usually just a transfer from maybe between families or just selling into a company so what we want to look for here is how much per square meter land are selling for so as you can see this little red figure here 138 eight, four per square meter. And then you can compare to all of the other piece of land that sold is 1877, 1890, 2527, 2500, 2074. So we can straight away see this is significantly cheaper. So we want to know what's up with that because it's not always just sold to a family. So what we'll do here is open this up in an other tab 
and just have a look at what's up. So sometimes maybe the piece of land is not very good or a lot of the land is unusable. So we open this up and we can see is a pretty good piece of land. It's even got two houses on it. So that means this potentially is not a sale on the market. So to confirm that, we would just search that up on Google and just chuck that in and see if there's a listing of this property being sold. And because we can't find it, we know this is not a property that was on the market. So now we're gonna go back to our data and just go, hey, we're gonna exclude this one. So once we have these address, we wanna search the actual listing. So 14 Kamaka Road, for example, we can click on the Relab link just to have a quick look at that property. And you can see this sold for 1.1 million. However, it is in an area where the there are a lot of housing, but we'll add it to our data list anyway. So what we'll do here is copy this address and then actually chuck it in Google. So we we'll chuck it in Google here and it's not obvious to find this particular property because sometimes um, perhaps the agency have decided to take it off because they sold it uh, too cheap. But you should be able to go on homes.co.nz to find that particular property. So we would go to homes and chuck that address in and see if there are the photos that we can find on that particular property. So no photos, but we have the, I guess just the outline or the bird's eye view. So we'll, we'll just replace it with as a homes link. And then we're gonna chuck the Relab link here. And what we wanna do here is just put the basic information. So when we come back, we can just look at our spreadsheet and there are some solid data to be worked with. So we know it's a freehold title and we know this piece of land is 586 and it sold for 1.1 and the CV was 1.5, 1. 1.175. So what we want to do for per square meter is divide the sold price by the land size. So that gives us a 1,877 pounds. I'm just going to leave it as pound, but it's just telling us how much per square meter it's selling for. The bedroom we have is a five bedroom, two bathroom with a floor area of 205. Five bedroom, two bathroom, 205. So now we go to the next listing. So that first example wasn't too good because we're not able to find the actual listing. So let's see if we get better luck with this particular one for 27. And we just need to go on Google and we'll chuck it in and have a look. Now you can see Ray White Mangry Bridge have sold this property. So we'll be able to pick up this listing and see what kind of house sold for this particular price here. So again, the CV was 960 and sold for 1.2. So sold above CV usually means that it is in a decent condition, but doesn't look like the kitchen had much of an upgrade. This is a nicely kept house, but it's not newly renovated. It is on a freehold title, but we're gonna add that to our data sheet anyway. So we've got the listing link here. We've got a relay link here and we've got the address we're going to chuck it in and we're going to go freehold and this sold for 1.2 million the cv is 960 with majority of that value being in the land and then we've got the square meter of the land being 635 and then again, we would just want to drag this down here and we can see that it's selling at around 1890. It's a three bedroom, one bathroom and the floor area is, it should, you should have this data on Relab. So it's 84, so 3184. So I would say this is probably not the cheapest. So I want to try find a cheaper property. So let's just speed up the process and uh, let me find a cheap example so that we can have a good next step. All right, so after a bit more research, I have come to the conclusion that a three bedroom on a freehold section like this in Mangry Bridge is probably gonna sell at around 1.4. So this here and this particular property here, um, have similar size land. And then you've got McKinsey, which was the other 1.4 mil property that is sitting on a corner site on a much bigger site. However, it is um, sitting closer to a lot of housing New Zealand. So by doing this research, I have a good feel that a section freehold like this and a decent house is gonna sell at around 1.4 million. So now that I know this data, I'm gonna keep this data and going to basically write up an email. So to leverage my 
my time, I'm going to go on Home Stock ONZ and how I'm going to find these type of property under value because I know this is what the market would pay on these properties. So I want to buy it at, say, for example, 1.3 or 1.25 or lower. So then what I'm going to do is go on Home Stock ONZ. I'm going to go find agents. And now I'm going to look for Mangri Bridge. I'm going to type that in. Now, by doing this, all of the agents in that area is going to pop up. So I'm going to go for the people with the most sales in that area. And all I'm going to do is now go to them with an email saying, hey, Jared, see that you're one of the top salespeople in this area. I'm a first home buyer. I, of course, don't do not want to waste your time, but I'm seriously considering buying this particular area. I was hoping that I could buy something like 47 Crawford Avenue and 16 Toa Toa Place for 1.3 mil or a do up for around 1.2 million. I hope you can help me out. And so then I would copy paste that email and just send it to pretty much every single agent in this area that is quite active. So I'll send it to at least 20 and see who would respond to me. But this is going to give you a massive leverage on your time because obviously not all of these agents is going to respond to you because you're a buyer. They just want to deal with sellers and you want to buy something under value. But if they find something and you can make an offer really quickly, they might just send that particular listing to you. So this is how you can get a lot of leverage on your time to first of all, understand a particular area, get us some data on a spreadsheet, and then later on, go to that area and look at the top agents and send them an email template that's saying, hey, this is what I'm looking for. This is a price range and just see if you can get lucky. Now, of course, you can duplicate this effort to few suburbs because I've just shown you just one particular suburb you have. You can apply this to all areas. So this is going to significantly give you more productivity in terms of buying a house. So hopefully you find that helpful. And if you did, please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys again in the next video.